Hi children welcome back to online class grade 11 english so in the previous class i taught you about the prose one the portrait of a lady written by kushvan singh right so i hope you all clear about that lesson now let us go for the book back exercise and the vocabulary given in this lesson right okay take your textbook page number 1 take the warm up i told you to fill the warm up uh, while i'm teaching itself right so those are filled it is no problem those are not at filled you can go for writing the answers what i'm giving here right okay so the question is given based on the visuals given above give five words or phrases each to describe these two family types okay nuclear family and joint family picture is given by that you can write that uh, points right okay so the column is given nuclear family and joint family first column nuclear family you can write the answer small happy more space caring joyful good education contented rich kind loving more love needs met complete huh? go for the next column joint family this congestor compete for needs pure learning less riches wait for turn mutual care less privacy sharing more more fun more joy no immediate gratification bondage great did you complete the nuclear family and joint family in that warm up column okay we'll move on to the next one take page number 4 glossary go for reading and understanding the meanings from this one first one mantel piece self projecting from the wall above a fireplace absurd inconsistent or illogical fables tales or stories hobbled walk unsteadily pucker to contract the face into wrinkles expanse wide spread monotonous unchanging or boring snap broke or cut seclusion isolation bedlam noisy confusion perched sat or rested rebukes scoldings dilapidator damaged pallor an unhealthy pale appearance shred cloth used to wrap a dead person okay so those who don't have your textbooks you can go for learning from this and now let me give you the additional from the guide go for learning the meanings from this also right okay the book bag glossary is highlighted here and darkened so uh, once again you can uh, understand it clearly so go for learning thoroughly right absurd inconsistent or illogical bedlam noisy confusion certain sure constantly continuously dilapidator damaged distressed unhappy expands wide area fables tales or stories fat obese or overweight frivolous non serious or light minded hobble walked unsteadily ignore disregard or omit moist damp or wet monotonous unchanging or boring omitter excluder perched sat or rested persuade convince pretty 
charming, protest, object or resist, puckered, wrinkled, rebukes, scoldings, relaxed, being at rest, revolting, objectionable, scattered, disordered, seclusion, isolation, serenity, tranquility or calm, shred, cloth used to wrap a dead person, snapped, broke or cut, short, kind or type, veritable, real, used for emphasis is, wrinkled, creased or puckered. Now let us move on to the antonyms, absurd, consistent or logical. Bedlam, antonym, peace or calm. Certain, uncertain or doubtful. Constantly, rarely. Dilapidator, undamaged. Distrust, happy. Expanse, contraction. Fables, facts. Fat, slim. Frivolous, serious. Hobbled, walked steadily. Ignore, taken into account. Moist, arid. Monotonous, interesting or ex exciting. Omitter, includer. Perched, mood. Persuade, prevent. Pretty, disgusting or ugly. Protest, accept. Pucker, smooth. Rebukes, prizes. Relaxed, tensed. Revolting, agreeable. Scatter, gathered. Seclusion, assembly or company. Serenity, anxiety. Shrug, uncover or expose. Snapped, combined. Short, anarchy. Veritable, false or unreal. Wrinkled, smoothed or unwrinkled. Got it? So, synonyms and antonyms, you can learn from this. The next one, we will move on to the answer the following questions in one or two sentences based on your understanding of the story. So, these answers I have given already in the interactive classes and those who are not able to attend that classes, you can go for learning from this one, right? Okay, let me repeat the answers again. Go for writing in your class of note. Clear? Okay, take your note and write the answers. First one. Describe the grandfather as seen in the portrait. The answer. The author's grandfather appeared as a hundred year old man in the portrait. He wore a big turban and loose fitting cloths. His long white beard covered the best part of his chest. He did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or children. Next question. Why was the author left with his grandmother in the village? The answer. The author's parents had gone to live in the city. So, they left him with his grandmother. Third. Where did the author study in his childhood? The author studied in a village school which was attached to a temple. Fourth one. Why did the grandmother accompany the author to school? The answer. The grandmother accompanied the author to school in order to make him study the lessons and also get herself to read the scriptures inside a temple. Here, the school was attached to the temple. Next question. What made the dogs follow the grandmother after school hours? The answer, the dogs followed the grandmother after the school hours for the chapatis that was thrown to them. Next question, why didn't the grandmother feel sentimental when the author went abroad for higher education? The answer, 
the grandmother had a good confidence in the author and also had enormous faith in prayers she came to see him off at the station and kissed on his forehead leaving a moist imprint to show her love and affection so she did not feel sentimental when he went abroad for higher study last question what was the happiest time of the day for grandmother the answer the grandmother used to feed hundreds of sparrows every day in the afternoon with the little bits of bread for half an hour it was the happiest time of the day for her let us move on to the next rom letter 2 answer the following questions in three or four sentences each okay so the question answers everything carries are three marks right okay now let me go for uh, reading this describe the author's grandmother the answer the author's grandmother was short and fat and slightly bent she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful she hobbled around the house in spotless white clothes with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop and the other hand telling the beads of her rosary her silvery white hair used to scatter on her wrinkled face her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayer she was beautiful with this with the peacefulness serenity and contentment next question what was the daily routine of the grandmother at home the answer the grandmother woke him up in the morning and would get him ready for school she plastered his wooden slate prepared his breakfast and took him to the school she also carried several chapatis to the to feed the village dogs leaving him at the school she would sit inside a temple and would read scriptures finally she would return home with her grandson she used to feed the dogs with chapatis on the way back to home next question how is school education in the village different from that in the city answer primary education was given in the village school the students were taught alphabets daily they would be singing prayer songs patriotic songs etc in chorus the basic education was simply limited to reading writing and arithmetic in the city school english science music and other subjects were taught but there was no teaching about god and the scriptures next question the grandmother appreciated the value of education give instances in support of your answer the grandmother was very much concerned about the education of her grandson so she used to wake him in the morning and would get him ready for school she washed his wooden slate and plastered with yellow chalk she tied his earthen ink pot and a red pen into a bundle she prepared her, his breakfast and took him to the school finally she would return home with her grandson all these things showed that she appreciated the value of education as it is the most important aspect of life the next question the grandmother was strong minded justified the answer the grandmother was religious and had certain ideas about life she considered that the teaching of uh, scriptures was more useful and productive than science and music when she came to know the subjects of study of her grandson she was unhappy when he told her that music was one of the lessons she did not reply and kept herself in silence showing her disapproval after that she rarely talked to him in a state of loneliness and seclusion she took to spinning wheel and feeding sparrows when her grandson decided to go abroad for further studies she did not talk or show any emotion but came to the railway station while celebrating the homecoming of her grandson she sang and thumped a drum for several hours she ignored everyone who pursued her to stop her when she knew that her end was nearing she stopped talking to everyone she ignored their protest and started praying and telling her beads these facts showed that she was strong minded next question 
How did the grandmother spend the last few hours of her life? The answer. She celebrated the returning of her grandson from abroad. In the evening, for the first time ever, she did not pray. She collected several women of the neighborhood and sang songs related to the homecoming of the warriors. The next day morning, she was taken ill. It was a mild fever and the doctor told that it would be all right. But she knew that her end was near. She decided to spend the last few hours of her life reciting prayers and was not going to waste any more time talking to anybody. She lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads. Soon her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her fingers. She was dead. Now let us move on to vocabulary from the page number 6. Okay. Read the following words and choose the correct antonyms from the options given. The words and the options are given. You have to find the correct answers, right? Okay, for the first one, moist, antonym, arid. Frivolous, antonym, serious. Omitted, antonym, included. Protest, accept. Serenity, anxiety. Scatter, gather. Monotonous, interesting. Okay. So the B answers. Filling the blanks using the appropriate compound words from those given in the box. So the compound words and all I have taught you in the previous uh, bridge course. So you can go for writing the answers here. Rita hurried along the road, dressed in her spotless new dress towards the bus stop before sunset. She had to reach the house of her grandmother. But the first half an hour of her travel was slow due to traffic jam. Her sing song would be regarded with joy. She was overstraining herself to reach the place. When she finally stepped into the courtyard, she was received with a big hug by her kind aunt. She was in time to join the gentle folk at the village for your homecoming. The next one, match the words in column A with their pass in column B to form compound words and write them in column C. So A column and B column, two compound words is given. You have to match it and you have to write it in your column C, right? Okay, mantle, answer is piece, mantle piece. So write the word mantle piece in column C. I lashes. Water proof. B high. Toll gate. Door knob. Spinning wheel. Right? So the compound word is completed in column C, right? Okay, next one we'll move on to the D. Frame meaningful sentences of your own using the following expression from the story. Use a dictionary if required. So for this sentence, you can refer the dictionary and write the meaning or you can write the meaning what I am telling here. And you can write your own sentences. Or if you don't know the sentence, you can write or copy it from here, right? Okay, that's first one. The thought was almost revolting. That means too hard to believe. Clear meaning is too hard to believe. An expense of pure white serenity. Meaning calm, peaceful and serene character. You can write your own sentence too. Third one, a turning point, a drastic change. Fourth, accepted her seclusion with resignation. Accepting a secluded life after losing contact with somebody, right? Frivolous rebukes, that means light-hearted scoldings. Okay, go for completing the sentence according to your wish. Okay, next one, we'll move on to the prefixes and suffixes. Form two derivatives from each of the following words. Derivatives means you can add prefix or suffixes to the base word and you can frame many words. That is called derivatives, right? Here one example is given honest. So with the, that if you are adding a prefix dishonest and suffix ty if you are adding honesty. So like this you can make different words, right? Okay, so now let us move on to the uh, answers. Manage. Manager. Management. Differ. Different. Difference. Beauty. Beautiful. Beauteous. Peace. Peaceful. Peacemaker. 
arrange arranged arrangement collect collect on collective approve approval disapprove narrate narration narrator class classic classify next we will move on to the answers for the homophones and confusables filling the blanks with suitable homophones first one break and break is given in the option you have to identify which break is uh, suitable in the sentence right we have a short b r e a k break between the sessions okay second the car skidded to a halt when i applied the break b r e a k e next one waist or waist shivani wears a belt around her waist w a i s t we should never misuse our waste natural resources third one principle or principle oxygen is the principal element present in the earth's crust both these machines work on the same principle right fourth one bread bread turtle should be bred in a healthy environment there is a breeding b r e d b answer I like to have toasted bread for breakfast. Fifth one. Lesson, lesson. This medicine will lessen your pain. B. Finally the manager learnt a lesson the hard way. Sixth one. Pale, pale. The child looks very sick and pale. B. I need a pail of water to wash these cups. Seventh one. throw through ravi picked the banana peel and threw it in the dustbin t h r e w the soldiers had to pass through a dark tunnel t h r o u g h eighth one corpse corpse the corpse was covered with a shroud A five-day annual training camp for the senior dates of the National Cadet Corps has been organized. Okay. Now the vocabulary in the lesson one is completed. We will see the remaining in the next video. Thank you, students. Bye bye.